This video is brought to you by Greater Commons. Greater learning, greater opportunities, greater life. Visit us at greatercommons.com. Cool. So we're going to work on a, a map, passing a map into a template and see what that's like, and then printing out the key and the value in the template. And the uh, first thing we want to do is just create a type. And that type, well, that'd be for a person. We want to uh, pass in a map. And the map, we could just do that right here. So a map, colon equal, and it's going to be a map with a string and a, and a, and a bool. It's kind of a cool map. And we'll initialize it right there. And then we can put entries in that map. And so one entry will be Vince. <laughs> and are you in class? True. Right. And uh, another entry could be Eddie. And are you in class? Equals true. And another entry could be like G. And are you in class? It's true. And we pass that map in. And then we go to index.goHTML. And uh, first of all, we could just see what happens if we have if dot, right, where it's no longer bool. Just curious, right? Like, this is how we learn. So that will also evaluate, is there even any data here, right? So not only on a bool, but if there's data present, then run this code. If there's no data present, don't run this code, right? So I could come back here, and I could say, uh, well, that's where I wanted to be. I could say, I'm not passing in nil. I'm not passing in anything, in which case, I guess that's fine with that. And then refresh this page. There's no data there. So that if did not fire. Right? That if did not fire because there's no data there. You can go back to passing in the map. And now, so if there is data, welcome to our website. And now I could range over dot. In which case, and then I'll have the end to my range. And in which case, when I range, the output of the range becomes the input, which is the current element there. So that's just going to be the value. So that's going to print out the names. No, it's going to print out three trues. It's going to print out three trues. True, true, true. That's awesome. And I'm going to just put those in an H1 also. And then indentation's nice. And so then the next thing is we want to get key and value. What's up? So you can, by setting up that if data thing, if the data is true, then it will show what's within the section? Like just yeah, like yeah. If there's data, no, if there is any data. And if there's no if data, I'm not showing but if, anything. But if it's false, there would be no data? Or? It'll evaluate the bool true or false, right? And, and, and true is there is data. It, that's a good question. You, you you know, will it evaluate the zero value, right? So what is the zero value? So what if we passed in, you know, the zero value? Yeah, you know, that's how you learn, right? Experimentation. So bar in int, pass in n, and so that's that's just going to be set to the zero value because we haven't we've declared that n is an int but we haven't assigned a value to it, so it's automatically assigned the zero value. And now, uh, let's see what happens when it evaluates the zero value. No. So if it's a zero value, which is zero, or false, or nil, or reference types, like a slice or a map, if it's a zero value, then it evaluates false, but if it has a value there, it will run as true, that if statement. That makes sense. And uh, so we'll get rid of that and we'll go back to M. And now, uh, this isn't something I totally have stored in memory, my memory. <laughs> but we're going to do like a key and a value. And these can be any identifier names. And then we, I think, just do. Now, if I don't get it right, I'm going to have to go look it up. 
and I feel like quoting a Guns and Lyrics, Guns and Roses lyric there, but I stopped <laughs> myself. So I blew it up. Something wrong with variable k. And let's see if we get anything. Template helper, main.go 11 and main.go 31. Um, undefined variable k. So let's just make sure I didn't make a really key and value, key value, colon equals range. So uh, let's go to the documentation, see if we could learn it from the documentation. Go doc, uh, text, let's start with HTML template and see if it's in there. And if it's not in there, we'll go to go to text template. So I'm just looking for a dollar sign because I know that's variables. No dollar signs. Yeah? Right here, comma. Yeah. That probably is right on. Let's just finish this train of thought out, text, and look for a dollar sign. And no dollar signs. So text template didn't have a dollar sign. HTML template didn't have a dollar sign or multiple dollar signs. Where the heck did I learn about this? It's not uh, in text template. It's not an HTML sign. template. Huh? Uh, the example I have just uses one dollar sign. Let's see if it runs now with the comma. I don't remember where that is mentioned, man. Am I in the right folder? 27. So not blown up and uh, run it. But now it did blow up. Too many declarations in command index 11. Too many declarations in command range this current dot. Assign the value. Print it out. Key value. Too many declarations. It's a map. Range over the map. All right, I got to go find where I learned this. It might be because you're trying to declare the key and the value in the same form of data. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. The functions are or the templates are funny that way. They like to they do like to have the function first. I don't know why they did it yes, like it that. Is. Yes, that's what it is. Is that right? This is called pair programming, and why you like having many minds looking at your code. There we go. Sweet. That's how we all learn. I love it. I don't know where I, I learned that. and uh, I thought it was in the template stuff. That's bizarre. Somebody message me on YouTube here and tell me. <laughs>